question 3.2 3.2 is based on the cash budget now 3.2 is based on the cash budget now we need to calculate certain amounts which are missing it says here calculate the missing amounts indicated by a to d in the cash budget and that is for 14 marks and when you turn over to page 11 the cash budget is there it is given and the missing amount in information a that needs to be calculated information a that is april information a U a the missing amount which is alphabet a is cash sales for april so we are required to calculate cash sales for april cash sales for april cash sales for april we are required to calculate cash sales for april so it's very easy for us to calculate that because we are given the total sales the total sales we are planning to sell for the total we are planning to have the total sales amounting to 630,000 in april we are planning to have 630,000 total sales in april 630,000 and we know that when we are selling on, when we are selling the total sales is 100% but credit sales are expected to be 65% if credit sales are, to, are expected to be 65%, then automatically cash sales will be 35%. So if we want to calculate the cash sales given the total sales, it will then be 630,000 multiplied by 35%. 630,000 multiplied by 35%. 630,000 multiplied by 35%. 630,000 multiply by 35%. Where are we getting the 35%? We are getting it from that transaction which says credit sales are expected to be 65. If credit sales are expected to be 65, then it means cash will be 35 because credit sales and cash sales combined, they should give you 100%. So 630,000 multiplied by 35%. So the cash sales will be 220,500. 630,000 multiplied by 35%. Then it gives you the cash sales of 220,500. Right. We want to continue calculating the missing amounts. We are calculating the missing amounts. The second alphabet in the missing amounts is B. We want to calculate B. Right? We want to calculate B. And then if you look at B in your question paper, your B is the loan from Janet Blom loan from janet bloom that we need to calculate loan from janet bloom for which month we are going to be taking an additional loan in april loan from janet bloom in april we are planning to take an additional loan in april but the amount of the loan that we are planning to take is not given. We are required to calculate it. The only thing that we are having here is the interest on loan. We are having the interest on loan for March, which is 1,365, and April it is 2,625. And if you turn the page onto page 10, there is information about loan from Janet Bloom. Let's just read it. That is information D. Janet Bloom has provided a loan to the business at an interest rate of 9%. So Janet Bloom is giving us a loan at an interest rate of 9%. Interest is not capitalized and one third of the loan is repaid to her on the 31st of December each year. 
As the company was still experiencing cash flow problems owing to the coronavirus lockdown in 2020, Janet agreed to increase her loan to the business on the 1st of April 2021. So we'll be taking a new loan on the 1st of April 2021, but the amount of the loan is not given. That is what we are required to calculate. How much are we going to be taking in the form of a loan from Janet Bloom on the 1st of April? The only thing that is here which will lead us to be able to calculate the loan amount is the interest. If you look at the interest for March, it was 1,365. And in April, it went up to 2,625 because of a new loan. So let's calculate the increase in interest. The increase in interest. Interest from April, interest for April is now 2,625. 2,625. Minus the interest for March is 1,365. 1,365. So let's get the increase. How much is the increase? Because that increase it goes hand in hand with the increase in the loan. So it's one, it's 2,625, 2,625, 2,625 minus 1,365, 2,625 minus 1,365. So the increase is 1,260. So the increase in the interest per month is 1,260. And we know that the interest on loan is 9% per annum. The interest on loan is 9% per annum. So we need to multiply this by 12 so that we are able to reverse 9% per annum, which is going to be 100 over 9 equals to. So it will be 1,260 1,260 interest per month. And we want to convert it to be our interest per annum. 1,260 multiplied by 12. So per annum it is 15,120. And we are reversing 9%. Because remember, this is the interest at 9%. So we want to reverse 9% so that we go back to the loan amount. So 9% is 9 over 100. So when you are reversing, it will be 100 over 9. So multiply by 100 over 9. This is giving us 168,000. So the loan amount, the new loan amount that will be taken in April is 168,000. And if you want to prove this, you can take this 168,000, you multiply by 9% which is the interest multiplied by, the in, by, by one month, which is 1 over 12. If you say 168,000 multiplied by 9 over 100, which is 9%, multiplied by 1 over 12, this is giving you 1,260. This is giving you 1,260 interest. So we, what we were doing here is to reverse from the interest to the loan amount. So we now know because our instruction was to calculate how much are we going to be taken in the form of a loan from Janet Bloom in April. And the only key that, that was given to us was the interest per month. The interest is 1,260. So if we are reversing that, we started by taking this interest and we, we converted it to the amount per annum because you can't be able to reverse the interest because the interest is per annum and this amount is per month. So you need to start by converting this amount to be per annum. So that's 1,260 times 12, and then you reverse it's 168,000. And here we are proving that exactly the loan that we're going to be taking is 168,000, because 168,000 multiplied by 9% interest multiplied by one month, which is 1 over 12, is giving us 1,260. So 168,000 is the final answer. That is the loan that we are going to be taking from Janet Bloom in the month of April. So we are continuing, we are calculating the missing amounts. 
the missing amounts. The, the, the following one is C. Alphabet C. And what is it that is required in alphabet C? We are required to calculate the salaries of sales assistants for April. Salaries of sales assistants. Salaries of sales assistants. Salaries of sales assistants for April. Salaries of sales assistants for April. And the amount is not given. The only amount that is given here is the salaries of sales assistants for March. But the April amount is not given. And we are told that we need to go and see information E. And the information E is on page 10. Where there is a story about the sales assistant. So let's go to our question papers and check the story of the sales assistant. We are told that the sales assistants all earn the same monthly salary. So they are all earning the same monthly salary. That's number one. And these sales assistants were promised a 5% increase in salaries with effect from April. So in April, they are going to be getting an increase in their salaries of 5%. And the business employed two sales assistants in March. So in March, we have two sales assistants and plan to employ an additional assistant from 1 April 2021. So the business is planning to, to employ an additional. So it means in March, they were only two. Because we need to use March figures to be able to calculate the salaries of sales assistant for April. Because it is only March figures that are provided. We are told that their salaries for March was 22,400. The salaries of the sales assistant, it was 22,400. And the transaction told us that the business employed two sales assistants in March. They were only two. So let's just divide this by two so that we are able to see how much is paid to each sales assistant. So 22,400, 22, divided by two. So each sales assistant is paid 11,200. Each sales assistant in March was paid 11,200. Remember the transaction that says there, they were promised a 5% increase in salaries with effect from April 2021. They were promised a 5% increase. So this amount without increase, we assume that is 100%. So if these people are promised a 5% increase, so we multiply this by 105, 105%. So by so doing, we are adding 5%. So let's see how much are they going to be earning now if they are giving a 5% increase. 11,200 multiplied by 105 over 100. It's 11,760. Each sales assistant will now be getting 11,760. They were earning 11,200 and they were promised a 5% increase. So therefore now from the 1st of April, each sales assistant will be getting 11,760. And remember that we said there is a transaction which says the business plans to employ an additional assistant from the 1st of April. We are planning to employ. So we had two if we are employing an additional one, so it would mean we will end up having three. So now we have 11,760, which is their new salary after the increment, multiplied by three sales assistants. 11,760, that's 11,760, multiplied by three. 11,760, multiplied by three. 11,760 multiplied by 3 equals to 35,280. 35,200. This is what is going to be paid. The salaries of the sales assistants for April will be 35,280. Each sales assistant was earning 11,200 in March and they were only two. Uh, with the 5% increase, their salaries will be going up to 11,760. And with an additional one, so it means the sales assistant will now be three. 
So 11,760 multiplied by 3 equals to 35,280. And now, uh, Roman figure C has been solved. We now know how much is going to be paid to our sales assistants in April. And then Roman figure D, alphabet, this is D. We are now in D, alphabet D. The missing amount in alphabet D is rent expense for March. And we are told to see information F, but how much are we going to be paying for rent? How much will be paid for rent in March? The only amount that is given is rent for April. And rent for April is 39,960. Rent for April is 39,960. And we want to reverse back to March. But how much was rent for, for March? How much was the rent for March? Right, if rent for April is 39,960, let's then refer to information F to know the changes. Information F, we are told that is uh, bullet two. That, oh, information F, the director secured premises in the local shopping mall from Propco LTD with enough space to cater for the expected number of customers. Rent is charged per square meter according to the floor area. The rent increased by 11% per annum commencing on 1 April. So rent increased by 11% commencing on 1 April. So this rent increased by 11%. And remember when we are increasing, we always say that the standalone amount here is 100%. So if this amount was increased by 11%, it means to get here, Whatever, there was an amount that was multiplied by 111 over 100 to get to this amount. So if we want to reverse to the original amount before increase, we need to just swap 111 over 100. So it will then be multiplied by 100 over 111. Because this rent was increased by 11%. Was increased by 11%. So that it will be 39,960 multiply by 100 divided by 111 so the rent for march was 36000 it was 36000 before increase you may even prove this if you say 36000 multiply by 111 you are increasing it by 11% because any amount is 100% if you are increasing it by 11% it will then be 111 over 100 36,000 multiplied by 111 over 100 will give you 39,960. So in March it was 36,000 and it was increased to 39,960. And we are given rent after the increase. We just have to reverse. And when you are reversing, you just have to swap this. It's 111 over 100 because we are reversing, it will be 100 over 111. And then we are able to get to the correct amount of 36,000. Right. So a, a Roman a alphabet D has now been resolved. Which then brings us to the end of question 3.2. Wherein we were required to calculate the missing amounts indicated by A to D. So we have calculated the missing amount in the cash budget A. We, want, we were required to calculate the cash sales for April P, loan from Janet C, salaries of the sales assistant, and D, it was rent for March. Rent expense for March. Right. So we are now proceeding to 3.3. 3.3. .3. 